What's good, peeps? Thanks always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. So I was just thinking about the, um, the state of boxing in 2019. From the outside looking in, it seems to be in a very, very strong place right now. Like, very strong place. There seems to be more money in boxing than I can ever remember. Right, you listen to interviews from um, managers and promoters, and more importantly, fighters, and everyone seems to be getting paid, right? I think that's fair to say. Um, I don't know if it's because of the zone entering the boxing market. They seem to have almost forced the market up a little bit. MTK Global seems to be growing bigger and bigger by the day. So there seems to be a lot of money in boxing. I mean, you listen to fighters, and fighters always talk now about they're getting paid, which is always a good thing. I've always been um, an advocate for fighters getting paid their worth. Right. I mean, they go into the ring and I think we've seen it in recent times. They go into the ring risking their lives for our entertainment. Yes, they get paid. Yes, they they earn belts. But nonetheless, it's for our entertainment. Um, but and I have to make sure I get my words correct here. It shouldn't be to the detriment. Is that the right word of fans? Right. It shouldn't be to the detriment of fans. And what I mean by that is um, I'm all for. Fighters getting paid millions, right? It wants the best fight, the best, get paid millions. I've, I've always screamed from the rooftops of it. You can always go and watch some of my back videos. I've always said, look, if that person is fighting that person, fucking pay them, right? Because this is going to be epic. Um, but how many, and I was just thinking about the boxing calendar so far in 2019. I'm thinking about 2019 because I think this year, in the back end of last year, we started to hear astronomical numbers, right? I mean... Deontay Wilder's deal to the zone, obviously it didn't happen, but that was something like $120 million. Um, GGG's deal, ridiculous. Canelo's deal, ridiculous. Um, even lesser fighters are getting paid millions right now. But I was thinking about 2019 so far, and what are we? Coming up to September. How many unmissable fights have there been so far this year? Like, unmissable. When I say unmissable, I mean like grab your fucking popcorn, you can't stop talking about it. Oh, my God, this is going to be epic fight. How many so far? And look, I put this question on Twitter and someone did say they're a supporter of a particular boxer. They, I don't think they mentioned the boxer's name, but they said whenever that guy fights, or girl, I don't remember the boxer's name, um, that fight's unmissable. And I get that to an extent, but that also has its flaws. Like, I'm a massive Liverpool fan, huge. You guys know this. Um, for me, every single Liverpool game is unmissable. Unmissable, it's epic, every game. Right, even FA Cup third round, whether it be against fucking Oxford or whoever, unmissable. But realistically, I understand that Liverpool's big games are the games in Europe when it gets to the quarterfinal, semi-final, final stage. We will get there again, and games against Chelsea, Man City, United, Arsenal, Tottenham, Everton. Those are the big games, right? <laughs> Leicester's not a big game. Do you know what I mean? West Ham's not a big game. No disrespect to those fans, but you know what I'm saying. So how many? unmissable fights have there been so far in 2019? Rack your brains. I would say unmissable. I think Canelo versus Danny Jacobs, epic, right? I, I was super pumped, epic. I remember thinking this is going to be fucking outstanding. And look, how the fight plays out is, I mean, you're rolling the dice. But in the lead up to that fight, unmissable. Then we start to struggle, people. Then we start to struggle. Um, Andrew Ruiz Joshua wasn't a big fight. Sorry, Joshua Ruiz wasn't a big fight. The rematch will be, but that wasn't. Wilder Brazil wasn't a big fight. I mean, look, you, I'm not joking. You are rec Furman Pacquiao? No. I mean, don't get me wrong. Good fight. But in the lead up to it, I wasn't thinking, oh my God, I I wasn't. I wasn't. And that maybe that's just me. I, maybe I'm just being too harsh. But that wasn't an unmissable fight. So there's all this money in boxing. Again, all four boxers getting paid. I am. But there's all this money in boxing. And I think that we are not and continually not getting the big fights. I, I would even go as far as saying I think some boxers are getting paid for doing not very much. People might come at me and I'm happy to take the... Um, the discontent. But I feel like some boxers are either turning down millions, turning down. I mean, I, I heard the other day that Tevin Farmer sort of laughed off a $2 million offer to fight Javante Davis. 
Tevin Farmer. Um, Callum Smith, I think his manager, not him personally, but his manager, trainer, um, Joey Gallagher, laughed off, we're hearing, a seven-figure offer to fight Billy Joe Saunders. So there's all this money in boxing, all this money, but I can only think so far of one epic fight. Don't say Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia. If you're ever thinking that, don't. That wasn't that, right? Now, we might have some. I think it's even got to a stage with boxing now where we are so desperate for what we call big fights. I mean fucking big fights, people. Don't, um, don't take your tone down on what I'm saying here. I'm talking big fights. That would even call something like Errol Spence, Sean Porter a big fight. Don't get me wrong. It's a good fight. It's not an epic, unmissable... It's not that. It's going to be a fun... You know why I know it's not an epic, unmissable fight? If you were to ask 1,000 people how you think that fight's going to go, I think it's fair to say 990 would say Errol Spence is going to win. That doesn't make it then. Don't get me wrong. You're still going to tune in. But I'm talking about an epic fight where you go in thinking, ooh, don't know how this is going to go. And look, maybe I'm just ranting because, you know, I do rant. But where are the unmissable blockbuster fights? Where are they? It's got to a point now, like with the Errol Spence, Sean Porter thing, where we get decent fights that because of our desperation to see a fight, almost that becomes a blockbuster fight. And it just isn't. It really just isn't. Because every time Sean Porter has stepped up, to a certain level, he's lost. But now, Errol Spence, Sean Porter is a big one. There is so much money floating around in boxing. Again, more than I can ever remember. Remove Mayweather from the equation. There is more money in boxing than there's ever been. But yet, we as fans are still being fed not very much. Not very much at all. Again, think of 2019 and think of your epic blockbuster fights. Grab your popcorn fights. Everyone comes around the house because this is just going to be special. I can't think of many. I can't. And I don't know if that's then a lack of talent. I don't know if that's a lack of superstars. I don't know what it is. But what really brought this to my attention was um, there was a recent UFC event. I think it was UFC 241. And Mike Coppinger um, retweeted the salaries that these UFC fighters are getting. And said, oh my God, I can't believe how much money they're getting in comparison to boxers. And these UFC events were epic blockbuster events where I just couldn't miss them. Like real great fights. Even the recent UFC one. Um, you had Daniel, I don't know if you guys are UFC fans, but you had Daniel Cormier versus Stipe Miocic. Romero versus Costa. Diaz versus Pettis. Epic fights. And these guys are getting paid. I think they'll probably get a bit more under the table. But I think uh, Diaz got paid something like $175,000. Uh, Daniel Cormier, a 2 weight champion, got paid, I think it was half a million. We have boxers right now. And look, again, happy for you to get your worth. But we have boxers right now that are turning down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine million. Because it's not enough. Because it's not enough. And they're in a situation right now where they are getting paid millions to fight nobodies. To fight nobodies. Tyson Fury, I don't know what he got paid for Tom Schwartz or what he's going to get paid for Otto Wallin, but I'm guessing it's going to be around that $10 million mark. It, it, it upsets me a bit because, again, there's so much money in the sport and I think we as fans... We as fans who really are paying that money aren't getting what we want at all. Not at all. If I gave my list of fights I want to see, I think I did this. I think I wrote down a list of fights I want to see in 2019. I think we've had none of them. <laughs> I think we've had none of those fights. Spence Crawford was one. I think I wrote Loma Giovante Davis was one. Uh, Joshua Fury or Joshua Wilder was another. I think I write Mikey Lomo, but that's probably never going to happen. There's so many fights we're not getting, but yet there's so much money. So again, on the outside, looking in, boxers are doing great for the fighters, the managers, and promoters. What about the fans? What about the fans? Ain't great for us, people. Ain't great at all. Peace.